<clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. It's your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome back to episode three of The Cowboy. Now, it is now the morning of day three. I have 20 skill points to spend, so let's go ahead and... I'm just I'm going to I'm going to spend 10 into minor 69er and then I'm going to I'll put another 10 into sexy T-Rex. All right. So, in today's episode, we are now a cowboy is not just about, you know, having a sidearm revolver. It's not just about having that. A cowboy has also got to have his own ranch, a place to live. So, in today's episode, we are going to go to that X mark that I left behind in, this, in the last episode. And this is where we're going to set up our, our, our home base, our, the ranch. And we're, we're definitely a good distance from the swamp, so that way I can hear better if there's going to be zombies heading towards my direction. Any unwanted guests. And, and we also have the town next door to go raid. Now then, <clears throat> first let's go ahead and top off our hunger and thirst, and then we'll get on our way. Alright, now that we're all topped off in Hunger and Thirst, I'm also packing some wooden frames in case I need to do some nerd pulling, and I also brought a wooden hatch, that way that way I can do the hatch tech should I try and have trouble with the the unruly the old tenants, the undead tenants. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way to to claim our new our new home. Our ranch. And we got a crawler. He doesn't have anything on him. Oh yeah, and I did. I was, I was able to make a new iron reinforced club, and I made myself a new bow and a bone shiv. That and, and now you can see their levels have gone up. Because I, because I first crafted arrows before I started crafting the new bow. That way I can get a higher level out of it. Oh, there's a pig. There's a pig. Give me that bacon. Give me that bacon. Give me that bacon. Come on, three for three. Yeah, three for three. Let's chop them up. I just realized I'm forgetting something. It's a good thing I'm halfway there, so I can always... I, I'm just going to run back and get what I forgot, and then we'll make our way. What I forgot was the forge, that we're definitely going to need the forge. <clears throat> definitely going to need the forge for sure. And I'm also... I'm also going to need... No, I don't, I don't think there's anything else I need. Garvey, why are you getting in my way? Why are you getting in my way? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Oh, black cowboy boots. Black cowboy boots. Let's see, compare. Well, I'll, I'll, scrap, those for, I'll scrap those for leather. Alright, this is the place where we're going to set up our, our new ranch. Now, let's look around to see if there's any zombies we need to clear out before we do anything. And the, the flooded basement. 
we'll think about how we can how we can deal with the water that in that basement. Because there is also because it's not the first time I checked out the underwater underwater basement from a POI, and it turns out that and you're gonna there is some there is some there is some stuff to search down there, and including a safe. Well, <laughs> and that kind of makes it difficult if you're trying to if you're trying not to drown. All right. So here, this is the this is the path. This is like the driveway leading to a road. All right. Okay, so. Unless there's nobody home, there's like there's nobody home. Looks like this place is going to become property of the cowboy. All right, let's go inside. We have our main living room. Here we have the kitchen area. The kitchen area, yeah. And then there's there's a place to go upstairs. Then we have the we have this bedroom, and then we have the closet. No, this is the master bedroom. It's got a bed. All right. Yep, definitely gonna. This is definitely gonna be our what I would what I would like to call the hacienda, <laughs> which is a it's a it's a Spanish term for like a ranch, out in the out in the country. Okay. All right. So now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make a bedroll so that we can claim this as our home base. Not yet. I want to finish setting up. I want to finish preparing this place first before we can bring our bedroll and all of our other stuff. That way, yeah, it's better if I just finish, turn this place upside down, and then once it's done, I can go grab all my stuff from the other, from the starting base, and bring it all over here. That way, I won't have to make multiple trips. Okay, let's get to work. We need some. We need some relax and chill type of music. But it's gotta be like Western themed. Hmm. Let's see what I can come up with. I think that deer is going to go into the water. I'm trying to run away. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, back to work. Alright, so... So here's the deal. We have we have a patch of clay soil out, out here in the open. <clears throat> now, I just don't know how... And then, then when it comes to the fencing around, that's gonna be another time. I'll think. I'll worry. I'll think. I'll come up with the. I'll come up something for later. Now let's go take a look at the inside and let's go loot whatever containers we find in here and then we'll then we'll start getting everything ready. We can break down this. Break this down for the cloth and the wood. Oh, that was leather. Here we can get cloth. All right. And let's let's go. Let's break this down. I do have an extra campfire over in the Ted chest back in the back at the starting base, so we'll bring we'll bring that campfire over here. Here's some just glass. And over here we have the bathroom. I'll go ahead and break out break down these blinds for the plastic and seal this off. Inside the sink? Nope. To the toilet? 
Eh, murky water. No, Alright. <clears throat> I'll fix up the door. Alright, let's look at the kitchen. Another sink. Alright, a level 50 wrench. That's, that's always a good feeling. Now I can start breaking some stuff down. And the stove, can I get a cooking pot? Nope, just coal and glass jars. What about this cupboard? Nope. The fridge. Bottle of water. This can of peas. I'll go ahead and eat the cans of peas to make some room. All right. Let's break. Let's. I can't pick up the chairs because my backpack is full. All right. <clears throat> I may have to put a Ted chest, but I can't craft one. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. I can always drop something I really don't need it in my inventory. And that would be the one piece of run flesh. We'll put that down. Now I'll start crafting a, a Ted chest. And we'll put... See if I'm able to, <clears throat> let's see if I can put it at, at the top of this table. Alright, let's see if we can put it at the top of this table. There we go. And we'll put the stuff we don't need at the moment. Okay, and now we have the flooded basement. <clears throat> I gotta see what I can do. Boy, there's a, there's a deck of tears I can find. Like this pile of trash over here. And, oh boy. Did somebody leave the water running here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What am I going to do with all this water? Alright, now that I got a breath of fresh air, let's go search this dead Carl. Just some empty cans. Alright, there's another dead Carl over here. I'm trying to swim to him. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh, nice. 44 Magnum frame. Alright, I'm gonna break down this door because I know there's something in there. Oh, this is weird. This is this looks so weird. <laughs> the way the rudder flows. Oh, there is a safe down there. <clears throat> yeah, my temperature's dropping because the it's cooling me down a little too much and I'm getting cold. Alright, let's see if we could get a good quick look and see if I can loot whatever I can because there's no there's no way I can surface inside that room. Alright, I'm gonna take what I can get. If I get the safe there, I'm not gonna be able to loot that or break into it. Yep, it's not. Oh look at that, there is a Oh look at that, there is a piece I can get some air. It's even better. Hmm. Okay, so it has twelve hundred hit points. I'm gonna see if I can do something. I'll try and dig up some sort of a tunnel. Like an escape tunnel. Yeah. That's that's the plan. All right, let's let's get out of here. So this is the only sp this is the only spot that that I get that I get yeah, that I can get some air. We'll see if we can we'll see what we can do about clearing out this water. It's gonna take a lot of brainstorming to clear out this water. Here we have a trash can. Oh, nice, a schematic for leather hood. Very nice. All the way down here. I'll have to do brainstorming here. Yep, it's gonna take a lot of thinking, but I may not be able to do this anytime soon. Once I get the right supplies. Alright, let's get out of here. Before I run out of air. I went just in time before I started freezing my butt off with that with that cold water. Alright, so gonna think of something how to handle that water that water situation. Someone did leave the water running. Must be the wet bandits. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. I really don't think there's any containers here, but I know a place where I could put my bedroll down. Let me go grab some cloth from the blinds right here, and then I can break. Now that I got a wrench, I can break down this bed, so I can get some springs and and pipes. There we go. All right. Alright, so now let me go put some stuff into the Ted chest, and then let's, we're going to go back and 
We're gonna go back and pick up the rest of our the rest of our stuff down at the starting base. We have a lot to we have a lot to do here to set up, but I'm gonna take it one step at a time and hopefully I can get it finished before hope before the first horde night. Before first horde night. And and I really gotta try and by around day five, I want I read I want to start I want to start working on building the fence around on, once day five hits. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and put our forge down. Let's go ahead and put our forge down here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and load it up with the raw iron and the clay, and then I'm gonna take whatever wood I got, split the stack, and then and then we'll use that to fuel the forge. I'm not gonna turn on I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. Not until I bring everything else back here. All right, let's make a let's make a mad dash back. Let's make a mad dash back, back to the old base, get our stuff, and then start setting up here. So this is it, guys. Home. Hmm. I wonder how this old tracks goes. How this? How this? If you're a. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if I remember correctly. Oh, give me a home. Where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. I did my best to sing this part of the song, but if you're gonna try and correct me on that, then then don't. I I try. <clears throat> Give me a break. I tried. <clears throat> All right, a, fun, a hunting knife. This is this is perfect. And and I also let's see some shotgun parts. We'll take those. The hunting knife. The hunting knife. If my bone shiv runs out, and I'll use I use my hunting knife until I make another one. If I don't have any bo large bones on me, whichever or whichever comes first. If I find the hunting knife book. Oh boy, running back and forth sure does take a lot of stamina out of you. But hey, we need the exercise, level up our athletic skills. Alright, let's go see what we can carry in the meantime. Alright. I'll definitely need the campfire so I can put it down. Need the beakers. Need the beakers. I can now go ahead and scrap this for the iron because now that I have a forge, I can start making a cooking pot. Alright. Let's go ahead. I can I can go without the run flash. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to make multiple trips after all because I don't seem to have enough room to take all this with me. Uh, but I still got I still got time. I can make I can make the run back and forth. I still got time.
all right we made it back home now let's go ahead and put my bedroll down and I can officially say that this ranch is now properly up property of the cowboy and I'm definitely excited to get to work on building of it building this place up all right let's put it right here all right it's all set all right now then still got still got a lot to do still got to fix this place well, we'll see what we let's see what we can fix up at the moment. But now that I'm here, let's go ahead and start smelting the raw iron. And let's get this forge up and running because I really de I definitely want to start making some iron arrows. Give myself a direct upgrade from these from these arrows that I have. Now let's get to work. Let's let's start let's start uh, fixing up the walls of the of this pl of this place. If I, I have to get the wood first, silly me. <laughs> okay, now that, that was that, that was silly. And I got an I got an, I got an uninvited guest. Let's go take care of let's go take care of that problem. Who who is trespassing on my new ranch? I'm not alone. Looks like it's not alone. What are you doing trespassing on my property? Oh, that's what you get for trespassing. Let's see that again. Get out of here, Sham Sandwich. I don't need you. Alright, who else is around? Tre Any other trespassers around? Let's look around. No. Alright. Now, now then, gotta think of how, how to do how to hand how to do this. I suppose I can make an escape tunnel. I may have to I may have to break down the some of the walls in under the water so that water will flow. It may it may possibly flow out and reshape this, but only one way to find out. But that's not going to be anytime soon. Hmm, but at least I won't have to go back down there again for now. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to be spending some time off camera trying to fix up this place, patch up the floors, and then and then on the then on day three, we'll see what we're going to do from here. Because like I said, by day five, I want to start building the 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 property, the boundary, the fe the fence area and start putting some spi some wood spikes or barbed wire and to prepare for the first horde night. So anyway, guys, I hope you I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out, and and I'm, and, I'm, and I'll be happy to provide some more content for you guys. If you are new to my channel and would like to support me, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest activities. I do have a Discord server that you are free to join in and connect with me and my Starman fam. The link is in the description box below if you'd like to become a resident of Starcadia, the Eternal City. I do have my own merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box below if you'd like to browse through Starman gear. I'd love to see you guys flying my flag.
Now, if you'd like to support me more personally, consider becoming a star VIP by clicking the join button. All VIPs get sneak peeks at upcoming vi new video uploads and have their names mentioned at the end of the video, as you see right here. And also access to my custom emotes for my live streams here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile. <laughs> I will see you all next time.